Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe No Title, and I'm so glad that you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today so that we can celebrate Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and there is no other. Amen? Amen. So, brothers and sisters, this is the last day of Yom Kippur, and then Sunday is the day that they celebrate the Feast of the Tabernacle, brothers and sisters, and it's so important. It's so important because God loves the Jews and he instructed them when they came out of Egypt to do this for every generation. And so it's so important. Don't take this lightly. And so we'll read about it today. Amen? Amen. So if you brought your Bibles today, please turn with me to the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, and we'll start reading at 33. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. The fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the feast of the tabernacles for the seven days to the Lord. And on the first day there shall be a Sabbath rest, and on the eighth a Sabbath rest. And you shall take for yourself on the first day the fruits of beautiful trees, branches and palm trees, and the main branches of leafy trees, and willows of the brook. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. You shall keep it as a feast to the Lord for seven days in a year. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. And you shall dwell in booths for seven days. All that are Israelites born shall dwell in booths, that your generations may know that I made the children of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. So brothers and sisters, this is so important. Don't take this lightly. God loves the Jews with all his heart. But when God brought them out of Egypt and Moses went to talk to God, God was furious because they had turned their back on God. And they had made a calf. And God told Moses he would blot them out of his book. Reading from Exodus 32, 33. The Lord said to Moses, whoever has sinned against me, I will blot him out of my book. Brothers and sisters, you have to take this to heart. You have to. Because God's anger is kindled here in Israel because the Christian Jews are not sleeping in those tents. Many of them, maybe some are, but for the most part, they make the tent in their yard and they celebrate and eat feasts for seven days. But they are not sleeping in those tents. And it's because the leaders are choosing what they want to do instead of doing what God wants them to do. And brothers and sisters, we always have to do what God's will is so that we can please him and do his will and be with him forever. Amen. Amen. The word of God says in the gospel, Jesus tells us if the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the hole. So don't be that one that falls in the hole. God's anger will come upon you along with everyone else that is not sleeping in those tents. But if you sleep in those tents, brothers and sisters, God Almighty will protect you when he brings wrath on this land. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, always remember, no matter where you are in this world, always keep Yeshua as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him. Amen? Amen.